All right, greetings. So, so this is going to be for the Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. I hope that this reading is insightful and helpful for you, but because it is general, it may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your rising and your moon placement as well. You also can book a personal reading. You can also book a personal reading on my website, which will be linked down in the description below. It will also be plastered on the screen. I also have my flower power water ready and available for purchase and shipping. Um, it is a water mist for self-love, for attracting love, abundance, and beauty. All of that good stuff. If you want to read more about it or purchase it, it will be on my website once again. Thank you all so much to my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate the support. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you hit the subscribe button before you leave. It will be greatly appreciated. If anyone is interested in daily pick card readings as well as sale price readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Insight. I tend to do a lot more um, sales on my Instagram or social media than I do here on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, please be sure to follow me. So now we're going to be seeing what is going on in whatever love situation you are currently dealing with, the hidden truths of what's going on. I hope that it's helpful, provides you with the insight that you need. All right, Sagittarius. So we have the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. We have the Two of Cups and we have the Knight of Cups. In, or, yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Chariot card in reverse. We have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Cancer um, with the Chariot or it could be a Pisces or... Um, a Scorpio could also be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else? It really could be any other sign, but I'm getting heavy water and heavy air here and a little bit of fire, but that could be from you, you know, Sagittarius. Um, hmm. I feel like there's a wanted commitment here. There's a wanted relationship here, but someone is just not willing to initiate anything or put forth any energy. I feel like this person is wanting you to do it, Sagittarius. Why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse with the Queen of Swords in reverse? You have the Six of Wands in reverse. I heard someone doesn't want to feed your ego. And this could be you with someone else or however we have the ace of pentacles so yeah there's a new beginning wanted here there's something that's wanting to move forward but i just feel like someone is not either due to their ego and their pride not wanting to put forth the efforts um or just due to not wanting to feed someone's ego or for someone like i feel like it's an ego tug of war thing where someone wants to reconcile something have a new start with something but just not willing to put themselves out there so that their ego can't get hurt or someone maybe feels like someone is very egotistical and doesn't want to feed their ego by contacting them or initiating something or offering some some sort of something, some sort of new slate. Um, so instead, it's just like isolation between you and them. I feel like whoever this is that's wanting a new beginning may be very shut off. They may be bitchy, cold, very dry in communication, not really offering a lot of their time or their intention to you. But I do feel like they want a new beginning. Um let's see this also could be a relationship that's currently already happening here but there's just like no real excitement or love or like um like intimacy is what i'm getting why is the knight of swords in reverse with the chariot card in reverse we have the nine of pentacles in reverse so I feel like this person doesn't want to be single, like they don't want to break up or they don't want to completely separate. But I also feel like this person is just not willing to move forward or be the one to move things forward here. Or be the one to initiate a conversation about an offer or being the one to bring to the table like, look, we're not satisfied in this connection anymore. We should do this like someone is not wanting to do that. 
Yeah, we have the Tower card in reverse. Could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. I just feel like they don't want to. They don't want to do it. Okay, we have the Strength card. Yeah, so a lot of pride, a lot of ego, a lot of, um, yeah, just a lot of a lot of ego and pride. But like this person is very prideful and maybe in the past they felt like when they opened themselves up or they spoke about what they wanted or whatever it was, um, they felt like it, it just went in one ear and out the other. So they don't want to voice this concern anymore. Um, it could also be that like they initiated something and things moved forward and then they felt like they just got left out in the cold or isolated or whatever after they kind of put themselves out there in a certain way. So I feel like this person is being very disciplined, very strong, um, very prideful of their time, of their value, things of that sort now. So why is the Ace of Cups here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Ace of Cups here with the Okay, we have the Lover's card, so you could be dealing with the Gemini. I feel like this person intends to um, make a decision and, and probably even bring some sort of renewal to this situation if um, you presented themselves to them. But I just feel like they don't want to initiate it. And I'm getting a lot of that energy since I've started these readings today. Is like people not wanting to initiate or come forward about certain things. And it could have a lot to do with Mercury retrograde. Again, that like foreshadows the throat chakra and how we communicate how we interact with others in a verbal way um and a lot of people are just unable to kind of go outside of their comfort zones with communication and things like that so i feel like this person is not willing um or wanting to come to you wanting to communicate or initiate communication or the, the action of coming toward you but i feel like if you were to come to them um they would you know, want to start something new here with you. We have the four of pentacles here. Okay, we have the world card here in reverse, and we have the star card. So I feel like this person is just kind of really detaching from the situation, healing themselves, understanding and knowing what they want, and hoping that you would be the one to provide it for them, but just not really being the one to initiate anything, not being the one to bring forth an offer of some sort to the situation. They're wanting you to offer something to them. And I feel like once you do that and they see that you are serious and what you're offering um, and you make them feel good, make them feel confident in the situation, I feel like it's definitely something that can move forward. So we have the sacral chakra, which is the wound, which is the emotions. Um, let me some more clear. We have hostilities. And one more. One more. And we have attachment. So I feel like it's important to understand why you're fighting for this connection. We have happy family at the bottom. So this is definitely could be a marriage, someone you have a family with, or it could just be someone that you want a family or a commitment with. Um, but I feel like it has to be known what you're feeling for this person, what you want, and why you're fighting for this. Because I feel like this is coming from a very attached standpoint and this person is trying to detach and learn self-control and understand what their value is and things like that and i feel like you should do the same like understand why you want this situation what what do you want the situation for um if this is your energy possibly if you're a cross watch watcher or it just resonates um vice versa I just feel like it's important to continue to stand your ground on what you're feeling, what your needs are, what you feel like your emotional needs are, and not allow your attachment or the familiarity of this person or the love you have for this person to stop you from standing your ground for what it is that you want. So I really do hope that this was helpful. Um, again, you can purchase my flower power water on my website. You also can book a personal reading with me. Um, I would love to work with you all. Thank you all so much for the support, and I'll see you next time.